Hello everyone. Hello. How are you all? Oh, you all doing good? February 1st, the schools are reopening, colleges are reopening. And after feeling happy, also kind of precautions. So it's all safer from the number one. So welcome to Vaistra Aerospace Future Scientist Feet. Chapter number 44. So, so this is like uh, this is something we are uh, continue to do for the past four five months. We have uh, we never stopped. We never missed a week. Every week we have research presentations from children from our young. And uh, this week we have uh, four uh, young researchers who are going to do their uh, research presentation. So for those who are watching Vayu Shastra for the very first time, now let me introduce who we are. So we are the Vayu Shastra Aerospace and dedicated to aeronautics and aerospace domain. Uh, we are incubated under IIT Madras and IIT Madras is RTBA. And we also receive grant for doing this work. Um, what we do? So for example, I like aeronautics and aerospace from my childhood, from my age five, six. But I had to wait 18 years till I joined my college first year to learn even the basics like parts of a plane or how it flies, how uh, uh, pilot uh, controls uh, airplane, all these things I had to wait for 18 years. So, but when I learned all these things, I realized these things can be learned in our very young age. So what I learned in my first year that can be taught to a child of age five or six or eight year child can be able to make his own plane with all the controls because it's a very simple science. But all we have to do is we need to create a curriculum or design a methodology like how we teach dance, music or sports to any children because there's a specific methodology they follow to train children. The same methodology we created in Vayu Shastra from grade one onwards, we teach uh, children the basics of aeronautics. And uh, you may ask, how will you teach, uh, teach all this theory concept, all the very complicated formulas? No, we don't teach uh, much into complicated theory. No? We teach all hands on, practical oriented teaching that's using theater arts, using storytelling methods. We train. This is what we do. We created a grade one to grade nine curriculum. From grade uh, 10 onward, they go into advanced level program. It's like 12 years of curriculum. It's like training an Olympian in aeronautics and aerospace sector. Those children can able to change the future of space industry. And they already started doing it. We have some of the results already shown. It's all hands on whether you may ask what you have you are doing during pandemic. The yes, same question, uh, which I was myself asking what I am going to do in March 2020. So we had our mentor who suggested why don't you come up with a new design online, but don't uh, do something <coughs> what everyone does, something unique. So I started reading about life of people like Elon Musk, right? Or Tesla. Dimitri Mendley, all these people, there's a moment in their life which triggered the spark. That's very young age when they are eight or ten. Surprisingly, each moment of spark is something related to stories, or toys, or games. So if you read about their life, you understand. So we created a methodology called Trigger the Spark. So we had uh, we started with first module. Children started asking, "I want to join next, next, next." So we Started creating nine modules. Like we created nine modules, then I started. Okay, we should end somewhere. It should uh, create something much more better. 
things. So after once the child finishes all these nine levels, we put them into something called end research school. Till then we have almost hundred students in the end research school. That every week these children get to do their own research works. So you may ask what is, what could be the outcome? The outcomes are there are fourth graders they have their own company, their own website. A bunch of eighth graders having their own uh, registered MSN. Uh, a sixth grader written her own book. Uh, a 10 to 12 college student have their own startup. All of these things happen, and we get to see much more in upcoming months. Because it's uh, like it's not like one year of work; it's like almost three, three and a half years of hard work. We now only we started seeing the results. In the next few years, they are going to have much more unique imaginative, creative gangsters with so much of aeronautical knowledge and aerospace knowledge who could possibly change the future of space industry. Okay, so that's a brief introduction of what we do. So without delay, let's get into chapter number 44. So today, the first presentation is by our CEO, by our CEO of Target Space. Vignesh and if those who are following Vayu Shastra Aerospace, you will be definitely familiar with uh, Vignesh and he, he has done more than uh, uh, 50 presentations. He has his own websites. Namaskaram. So he had done more than 50 presentations. He has a own uh, team called uh, Target Space uh, with more than uh, six people now. They have their own CEO, CTO, uh, like uh, Chief Innovation Officer. They have uh, huge visions of traveling to Mars, what more? So this uh, young researcher who has done research, whatever I studied in my master degree, most of his presentation is kind of equal to college level. And uh, you might, uh, if you go through his all his presentation, you will understand how much work he is putting in everything. So let's welcome Vignesh. He is a grade five student from Chetinar Biashram. Uh, okay, Jagu. So target space. The stage is out. Thank you, Jagu. Um, Jagu. Okay. So, so can all of you see my screen? Yes. Okay, yes. Jagu. So, hello, everybody, and a good evening. So, this is me, Vignesh Anirudh, and I'm going to present on the topic tracking of a signal to identify a satellite in a celestial orbit part. So we have uh, we this is like a series. So I'm going to do many series on this topic. Yeah, around like six series I would do. So now let's see. Yeah, so before we go into this topic, in my usually my all of the presentations we would keep an introductions slide. So introduction about the speaker. So I am a proud student of Ayushastra because it's a great platform to learn. Team they make you to think okay around like when you take around must know they would think uh, they would teach you to think like him so so many scientists abdul kala many scientists okay etc so and also i became first first when i came to vaishastra i do not even know about the space i know just about this apollo 11 apollo 12 and many uh, just some examples of rockets okay if i need to say in simple words so when i come to vai shastra first class they it was from first they started basics after that they are going higher higher so they would make a placement and uh, and it would and we help they and they would help us to learn and after that in Vayu Shastra, after I finished Nayan's church, I came into a, um, a group called research, Young Researchers Crew and we would make weekly, weekly presentations uh, on Mars. And I, in, in my view, what all I have researched apart from my interest. So first, first I research on this mass colonization because now the recent activity in, in NASA or SpaceX, is reaching mass so i got interest more on this mass colonization and i have succeeded many of this i i found my own idea for this moxie 
and also i and also i have presented many presentations on this mass colonization and made a department in my company target space and after that i learn about our universe so in varish astro they would teach about many about these universe dark matter dark energy and about this alpha century system types of galaxies etc and i also started building my program in mar me i just jago i just show you on level 2 one model which i made in an app called space cad no jago yes, so yes yes so that so i so i so that way i learn how to build a spacecraft their parts and i also so when i was little bit young i would see this jurassic world jurassic um, jurassic world and many of these dinosaur movies and dragon movies after i came into wise as try saw their evolution how they been extend so after that i have then around 50 presentations and this is my 60th presentation and 10th live stream so introduction about the my company so our company and registered three website so these are the website thing i will share it in the chat box and this is my youtube channel and this is my company youtube channel and i am the ceo and md is harjit and our and our target space consists of me harjit dosh bhairavi sai sarmanti and sunaina and also let's dive into the topic and let's see what is today's topic in in our first part we saw about linear equation now in the second part we saw about how can a signal travel in an elliptical orbit so in today's topic which is part number 3 we'll be seeing about how can a uh, a signal travel in an parabolic orbit and and you can pronounce it as in you know, orbit term or in shape term you can pronounce it as parabolic in general term you can pronounce it as parabola so now who let's see chapter number 1 which is introduction what is a parabola who discovered parabola structure of parabola and formula for of for a parabola So what is a parabola? A, pa- a, c- a parabola is a c- plane curve generated by a point, but distance from a fixed point is equal to its distance from a fixed line. So this is the image of a parabola. So now I'm going to explain the this uh, differences between a parabolic orbit and elliptical orbit the difference between a parabolic orbit and an elliptical orbit is in pa- the parabolic orb so, so in the elliptical orbit would be completely round like an in, in a oval shape but parabolic orbit will be in u shape but when you divide the elliptical so how can a, uh, how is it uh, how can the shape this uh, difference be when you divide the uh, elliptical orbit into two halves and one of the half when you stretch it little bit it would be in a parabolic shape so so this is how only parabolic looks like different between parabolic and elliptical orbit shapes so now let's see who discovered this parabola so first first a greek mathematician known as banamachus so he so he considered it as a geometrical shape and he told about the, he explained this parabola concept after that uh, after that a uh, woman called hippotaya he's a greek she's a greek scientist so she told us it the the orbit on of our of our earth when we divide it as i told before when we divide it and such it a parabolic orbit would be formed thus it's uh, the parabolic orbit would exist so hippotaya so both of them are founders for this parabolic orbit and now let's see structure of parabola so so these are the structure of parabola so this is the focus this is the directrix this is the vertex and this is lattice rectum so i would now let's see brief about this uh, i will give a definition for each each of focus is where the point which we can connect any part of the parabola and vertex is the point which is connected to the 
focus on lateral rectum so what is lateral rectum so lateral rectum is the diameter of parabola and diameter of parabola is always is equal to 4p and how the and you and how and it also helps us to measure so from the focus and the vertex we can graph with and for an example if the units is 2 divided by 4 is equal to 2p and vertex from directrix the length would be equal so now let's see what is a directrix so directrix is a set of points in a plane which are an equal distance away from the given point and given line the point and the given line the point is called the focus the parabola and the line is called the directrix the directrix is a perpendicular the axis symmetry the axis of a parabola and does not touch the parabola so so now i will explain this directrix so directrix it will, it will help us to measure the parabola so the length between the vertex and the directrix is equal to p so it will so it would the perpendicular line at the axis symmetry and directrix we in a when we graph for the parabola we consider as it's the x axis so now let's see formula for a parabola who is this can you please mute your audio a uh, formula for a parabola so the formula for parabola is x minus h x minus h square for p y minus k square x stands for x axis y stands for y axis p is the distance between the parabola and the vertex distance between the vertex and directrix h comma k stands for the coordinates of the vertex also now let's see so this formula it, it, you cannot differ it would be minus plus so when according to quadratic the formula would be so so when it's plus plus the formula would be x plus h square is equal to 4p y minus y plus k square and when it's like this uh, in this side it would be x plus h square 4p um, and y my, my minus k square and here it would be x minus h square 4p y minus k square and this side it would be x minus x plus h square 4p y minus k square so this is how only b so this is the difference so when it faces here it would be here instead of the x minus h it would be x plus h and y, y plus k it would be and here it would be y x plus h square and here it would be y minus k square and here it would be x minus h square and y minus k square and here it would be x plus uh, x minus h square and y plus k square so now let's see chapter number two so let's go in depth on this equation of parabola so the overview so x so x axis and the y axis directions on a on an equation of parabola so how to find the coordinates of the vertex and the focus what is the distance between the earth and the satellite full equation of parabola in tracking signal to identify a satellite review and changes overview the four main prop so now let's see the four main properties of measuring uh, us uh, between us length be, uh, to identify the satellite in a celestial orbit first is linear we already saw after that it's ellipse after that parabola and long linear so everyone asked though the satellite is moving and earth is in the fixed point if when we say if the satellite is here and when we send a rocket where it would be so we use non-linear so to this three non-linear is the common one so about this we will be seeing in future presentations on this topic and also now let's see the overview on this parabola so x minus h square 4p y minus k square p is the distance between the earth and the satellite vertex is the where satellite is located focus is where the earth is located so now let's see directions of parabola so as you could see in this image okay when when it's like this it's by it's y minus x square and it's equal to y minus p because it's here here because it's we could tell p we here it is shows minus and here it would be uh f f f comma o f o 
f bracket o comma minus b is equal to y y minus x minus x square and here is equal to x minus y square and here is equal this is equal to x minus y square so when the when as you can see in this image when the y is equal to x square or y is equal minus y is equal to x square then the formula would be x minus h square 4p y minus k square because the because the x axis uh, the parabola is facing when x minus y square or my minus x y square uh, is equal to y square then it would be y minus k square 4p y may uh, h square x minus h square so then it uh, the, the parabola would be facing the x axis so how to find the coordinates of the vertex so the coordinates of the vertex is h comma k so when we keep us general number two um comma or two uh, y may y plus two square four p x plus one square then our vertex will be one comma two so this is the formula for finding the vertex and how to find the distance between the earth and the satellite so we need to divide the number divide the two numbers so now if uh, the distance between the vertex and directrix as i already told we need to find now the units okay one and two so it the, the so it the directrix is two units away and usually the diameter is equal to 4p so 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2p so our p is equal to 2p y plus 2 square 2p x plus 1 square is our answer for this how to find the coordinates of the focus so we how so we, we need to find the coordinates of the focus we need to do h plus p comma k so this is the formula to find h stands for x axis vertex and p stands for the distance between the focus and the vertex k stands for y axis vertex so y plus 2 square 2 p x plus 1 square so now this is the head of the formula so with this let's see h plus p uh is equal to one plus two k is equal to two because as per because it's the y-axis y the uh, the y-axis coordinates of the focus so k comma two is our answer oops one moment so now the review so our equation is y plus two square two p x plus one square so now satellite is moving and earth is in the fix uh, earth is also moving and satellite is also moving when the satellite reaches there our formula would change it would be wouldn't be the same but the lattice rectum won't change when the x-axis which is equal to h h square it would be always equal okay where if the, the the length would be always equal when it changes only the x-axis the length uh, will change the units would change then your answer would be different so now the formula is y plus k square 2p x plus h square so the vertex is h comma k which is equal to 1 comma 1 y axis is equal to 1 x axis is equal to 1 so the focus is h plus p comma k which is equal to 1 plus 2 comma 1 which is equal to 3 comma 1 is the location coordinates of the focus the formula now is y plus 1 square 2p x plus 1 square so now let's see chapter number three eccentricity of parabola so every orbit has its eccentricity so what is parabola's eccentricity so what is first of all an eccentricity so eccentricity is a norm or odd or vehemical behavior which which might which which is a it's like a it's like a mad behavior if you if the person will behave like a mad ada you're telling wrong the eccentricity meaning how, how yeah much that, that one i was coming to tell that wait for a moment but that, but that's not mad behavior not see that, one minute how? They, okay, okay, okay. eccentricity means two meanings i was coming to that you are not even leaving me to speak Ada, you're telling uh, one more definition da. there is two Google definitions i'm just telling like see eccentricity normally if you ask uh, tell a person no you tell that that's a mad person okay you are not leaving me to speak then how can i say okay you need to listen fully that's only the problem okay, here. Da. So eccentricity, some people might think like that, but it's not a 
true definition so eccentricity will also tell the size of an orbit okay it would define that only was coming to say this but you just told like it's wrong definition okay you need to listen it patiently the answer okay you know this meaning was correct only but uh, this meaning is correct but it's used in uh, uh, like for talking we but some people might uh, think like that okay why this guy is telling like this and all so the so this was some words might get two meanings that's only the so main problem so you tell that uh, this I, I, so I that's only i'm telling one. yeah yeah that's only i'm telling okay okay thank you But who discovered this eccentricity? So eccentricity is discovered by this a uh, 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 scientist called Johannes Kepler. So he is one of the famous scientists. And also now let's say eccentricity of parabola. So eccentricity of parabola is equal to one. So some people might say that uh, elliptic eccentricity is equal to one because I told in last class, but it's not the true. Until one only ellipse would be. If it comes one itself, it would convert into parabola. If it greater than one, it would be hyperbola. So now let's end. So I would like to end this presentation. Thank you so much. You can meet me at Vignation Road, uh, H at uh, Vignation Road, H at C of Target Pay at Vignation Road. Parabola is one. No, but actually, circles are eccentric. No, 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 no. That no, not circle eccentricity zero. Okay, only parabola eccentricity would be until one and above than one. It's a, a it's a, it. Ah, uh, if it comes to one uh, until one only ellipse. If it comes to one, it's parabola. Greater than one, it's called hyperbola. Are you clear, Dush? Now yes. with you, and that uh, you are welcome, Dush. Yes, and the number is nine eight four zero four. It's me a pod. Okay, so the Jagu uh, one minute I just I need can you please give me for near about two minutes of time, because uh, because sometimes no Jagu sometimes what it would happen is that near about would be I just I I need to just launch it okay they took me my just my Chrome hanged okay so I need to close it again put the questions again can you just bear with me for two minutes Jagu until oh, then <laughs> if no one has if anyone Has doubt you can very well ask me, and everyone could share your feedbacks. Okay. So Jagu, what is your feedback? Okay. So Jagu, any improvisation feedback? I'll tell after the session. Okay, Jagu. By the end of session, I'll give you some feedbacks. Okay, it's a nice presentation. But uh, but last time you told you need to put some implementation implementation no Jagu. Yeah, yeah that uh, we can do it only hands on. Yeah, that, Jagu. Uh, but the, what to... is the issue is this today? I just try to put it in the code dot org. They 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 told my I just asked my teacher because I am using it more than one year. So we need to pay money for it. Okay. So they, I just asked them to. I just asked my teacher. So she only need to allow because she is a more familiar with this app. She told that it had been stopped due to some arguments. Uh, okay, Jagu. So she told that she would enable it in March. March, mm -hmm. in my okay. view, she told. Sure. So if so, I would so I would give it. Uh, so I will tell it in the March. So March only I can do Jagu. No issues. Please excuse me just once. Um, no issues. So you can share the quiz. Okay, Jago, one minute. Uh, is there anyone has any doubts, any suggestions? Hello, anyone? Yes, if you have any doubts or questions, you can put it in chat box. No doubts. Hi. No doubts. Okay. 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 So, Jago, one more year. I'm sure I'm just taking so a question. Huh?
Jago, what are you doing? What happened, da? Hey, something. Uh, one minute, okay. Uh, Jago, uh, if you don't mind, I'll give you two minutes. I'll give you two minutes. Because now only I could put four questions, okay? Because... Stay your hand, I'll say you. Now let Mukil present. Jago, two minutes, I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. After after Mughal's presentation, you can do the course. Is that fine? But you know, two minutes la ready I know. You know, two minutes wait for him. Why just uh, two minutes, da naman? Okay, I'll wait. So. So yesterday, what I was showing, I was uh, showing some links. So though you all are all are learning coding, right? I think most of you are learning coding. So I was uh, thinking, why don't you uh, come up with some softwares? First, like simple, simple calculation uh, softwares, like uh, the some of the simple examples. Amman, go on mute. So there are some calculators you can find. If you just... Uh, Found one, go to one yesterday. Let me open it. Um, Jagu, the altitude pressure calculator means. Mm -hmm. Okay. Choose good. I think. Ah, uh, see this came across slow down. So when you just uh, had to enter, what is the height? Say three kilometers. What is the temperature offset? So every one kilometer there's a temperature offset which happens. So just enter 5.5. Then let's uh, uh, let's uh, uh, Radius you can choose here. It's X is not a perfect circle, so the radius varies a bit. So you can choose. Uh, there are four options. You can choose any of these. When you press calculate, it immediately gives you pressure, density, temperature, speed of sound, Earth's gravity, geopolitics. You may ask how. So for all these things, the formulas are given. Uh, this is uh, based on US uh, standard model. See the formulas are given. And this is simple uh, division, uh, square root, square kind of uh, relation. Like uh, you might have know PV equal to NRP, the gas, ideal gas equation. 
these things we can able to bring it in uh, some coding softwares that was uh, that i was uh, discussing with you yesterday see the ideal gas law calculator so here the pressure volume temperature the number of moles or you just need to select an unknown to solve the ideal gas equation so if if you know two or three values you can find the other values easy not only this there are lot of uh, small small uh, calculations which can be implemented using simple uh, coding let's say model rocket parachute size calculator uh, rocket equation calculator a little more uh, a simpler distance between two points calculate how to calculate distance between two points the x coordinates y coordinates if you give, you calculate the distance see see uh, can you see here yeah, now this cat is standing here the bird is here you, you all you know is the coordinates the google map you get this the form of coordinates this is and the formulas are there These are some some of the uh, things you can implement. This Pythagoras uh, theorem, all these things you can do it easy. This is uh, Sibos all these things, and uh, this thing has. I'll share this link with you in the chat box. This is uh, a share nice. this link also in a nice way. Jago, who's ready? I'm sure. Ah, uh, wait a minute, draw. Wait a minute, draw. Okay, so quiz is ready now. So I'm after just... the quiz, continue, sir. Jago, I have shared the link. Okay. Yeah, please wait, draw. Yeah, that's all. I just giving you inputs. Can, yeah. Uh, uh, the the link is shared in the YouTube live as well. Okay, Jagu. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you can read out the questions. The audience also. Ah, uh, now first join. So, so Satyak, you can share it in your school group as well. Share the quiz link. Please wait. Hi all, please join the quiz. Hey, wait a minute, Ra. I'm saying wait, right? Uh, it it took some time to join, Ra, for me. Me for quiz. In high internet product. Okay, I'll join in this. Sorry. I joined. Okay. Hello. So can Hello. all of you can join? Yeah, the Jago, they are trying with uh, the app. Okay, my network is very slow. Yeah, for that we should it it takes some very much time for yeah. loading. If we yes. should wait some very uh, some more some more time, da. Hey, everyone could join, okay? But uh, hey, no, you, hey, some hey, people hey, have hey, yes, or hey, hey, as well. They can join. Hey, okay. I said, uh, uh, please wait to start the start ra. Please. So everyone can join. Everyone started joining now only. Arjun, can you please be in mute? Wait for five minutes. I'm joining Vignesh. Okay, no issues. I'm waiting for five minutes.
how many people are there? Ten out of which five joined. Okay. Jaguna quiz Aramikatama. Shall I start the quiz? Hello. Wait, wait for a minute and then start. Okay. Hey, wait. I also said already, right? Hey, this is. See, Harjit, can you please be in mute, Noda? Naman, did you join? No? No, no. Just two okay. minutes. You have joined Naman. Okay, Naman, join. Jagu, shall I start the quiz? Yes, yes. Okay, Jagu. With a little bit of questions. Jagu, questions would also come automatically. What is the eccentricity of parabola? You can read out the uh, options. Okay, Jagu Patipana, no, the option table I do not have. Okay, so now Naman is leading. Ada for this, how did uh, Apelia discover that? Uh, 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 when a match is, I discovered it and uh, it, uh, two people discovered. Had... I already told no two people. No, they discover. No, one more person told about it. No, two only discovered. One person yeah. told about. One person told. Uh, uh, I am having one idea. After this quiz, uh, share the screen and uh, show it to him. They, he told that one more person is there, which I already showed in my presentation. Okay. Now show that a specific slide. Specific the, okay, slide. okay. So the uh, the Aishwari is leading by followed by Anish Noel, Prashant and Namanaitak. So, so congratulations to the so congratulations to three of you. And uh, all our vendors are need to see. They, but uh, they are three only leading node. Ah, so that only I told. Uh, I'm saying. Jagu, can you really? share the participation yes. point of view? Yeah, I already. Yeah, yes, yes. Shall yes, I share yes. it, Naman? Shall I? Not the, not the participant. Okay, Naman, Anish, can you please take a print screen? Not you, da. So, participant screen share, Pana, da. Ah, Anish. Yes, Jagu. Which participants, Jagu? Is what is this? Wait for it. Ah, well done, Aishwarya, Anish, and Nama. Well done. Well done, so for the winners of today's quiz. Thank you so much, uh, Vignesh. So, Thank you, Jagu. Darsh, Darsh, I'll just share you my screen and show it to you.
Okay. Lah. Can you just see? I already told you. Put the I. Put it in the quiz, and you must click all of these. Okay, you put the only one scientist. I think so. But uh, Darcy, when I just said discovered it, and uh, yeah, GPA both of them told... only found this. We need to consider. Yes, that man. When I just said told, uh, uh, discovered it. Yeah, when I just said discovered uh, it, and he told us. But the person said told about it. Japan has told about his eccentricity. So if you tell about his eccentricity, no, 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 do just... not, do not take it wrong. Okay, there's I. He yeah, told fine, this. Fine. He told about. He told about the value. He, that, that girl had told about the value. No, she didn't told the value. All the equation, including the eccentricity, many matches has discovered, and he to consider them as geometrical shape. The girl only told that the parabolic orbit exists, and so and he told parabolic orbit is there. Okay, so See. both of them only we need to consider the formula. Oh, she I told. had. But okay. Yes, so, so you can founder. discuss it uh, offline. So okay. so anyway, there's a nice presentation, uh, Vignesh, followed by a uh, nice quiz. So you can discuss it offline. The more doubts. Okay, there's there's I. Uh, okay, there's I. Will. Let's speak so afterwards. So let's uh, give one. Yeah. So let's give one huge round of applause for our Vignesh. So all of you go unmute. Let's give one huge round of applause. One, two, three. Thank you, Anish. Thank you. Next, so next we are having one new present. So his name is Mukil Manimaru. He is a Vayu Shastra Aerospace regular batch, the Air Science program student. He completed his in third level. So he presentation on types of aircrafts. is a grade 4 student from cambridge school kr from bangalore and uh, this is his first live stream let's welcome uh, mr mukil manimaran mukil uh, you can start thank you sir uh, this is my first uh, uh like science meet so i'm going to start sharing now can you see the screen everybody yes 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 sir that now i will start now this is the our first type which is an airship airships are not usually used for travel they nowadays you can't see them in the sky you can only see, mostly see them at the, your sports stadiums the next one the next one is a free balloon these balloons are are usually used at homes for your play play time and decoration these are your kite balloons kite balloons were ba large balloons attached to airships as a form of advertisement aeroplane this is your modern day aeroplane rotary wing aircraft these aircrafts are usually used by the military ornithopter this this was one of the earliest forms of the aircraft and was made by akaitas of tarentum gliders and sailplane these don't have running engines so they use other sources to fly i mean they do not fly they glide the glide the sailplane has to be towed by another airplane in the sky and then let loose so that it can glide around the air freely a kite this is your a kite which you use, use for free time at your balconies amphibian aircraft the amphibian aircraft are aircraft that can both run on the land and in the water this is the land plane the land planes cannot be used on the water only on mainly on land sea plane these planes are the exact opposite of land planes they can only be used on water gyroplane A gyroplane is a type of rotor craft that uses an unpowered rotor-free auto auto rotation to develop lift. Forward thrust is provided independently by an engine-driven propeller. A helicopter. This is your modern-day helicopter. A float plane. These planes are related to the sea plane. Flying boat. These these kinds of aircraft 
can land on water in mid flight thank you that is all for my first presentation thank you all for listening i don't have any quiz since this is my first presentation it's okay but i don't know you know what is quizzes or uh it's okay thank you very much very nice Yes, uh, students, you can uh, give a feedback for Mughal's first presentation. Mughal, which is an awesome presentation, and and uh, and Mughal, I am welcome you to teach the quiz. Okay, any time if you are free, I think so. You do not know me to quiz. I teach you. Okay. Ah, uh, 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 thank you, Vignesh. Uh, uh, I have. Uh, I, I will give you feedback to you that. Why you should start a channel? Yeah, done a tutorial. A few weeks, a month ago, or something. This is a. Uh, uh, first of all, I need to say the, your first presentation is uh, very. First of all, my first presentation. I, I this level I'm not do. I'm you're far away from my first presentation. How you do? <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. That's a neat presentation. It's a brief. Uh, 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 yeah, layout of the types of aircrafts. Uh, starting from aerostat and aerodynes the aerostat had all this uh, three balloon kite balloons uh, airships and the aerodyne had all the gliders and uh, with uh, with engines without engines under uh, without engine we had uh, sail planes gliders kites and uh, uh, under with engines we had all the helicopters aerocopters Uh, yeah, the ornithopter uh, misconception. Okay, that's fine. Okay, then uh, there are the uh, types of uh, planes: land plane, sea plane, uh, amphibian planes. Nice. So well done, well done, Mukil. That's uh, that is very first presentation, very neatly done. So welcome to our uh, researchers crew. I'll add you to the researchers crew. Thank you, sir. From next week onwards. Nice. Thank you so much. Next, uh, you can stop sharing. Huh? Next, uh, we have our uh, Naman. So, those who are following Vayu Shastra regularly definitely know Naman, my talk Sagu. He is doing his seventeenth part under the topic Planets of Solar System and Beyond. This is like a book of content, seventeen chapters. Each uh, chapter is almost twenty to thirty minutes long. So it's like ten hours, almost uh, eight to nine hours of solid material uh, that's presented online. So Naman is a great student from Ekya School, BTM. Uh, he is a part of this company called Aerospace. Uh, Naman, how you can start? Okay, so. <laughs> Just a second. Um. Okay. Yeah. The PPT is on. So, planets of the solar system and beyond, part um. Seventeen by Namanana Space now, which is me. So, a quick note before I start: this is a series where I talk about planets of the solar system and further and further to the exoplanets, which I've reached. I've completed the solar system planets. This will go on until I run out of planets to discuss on. Thank you and enjoy. I might do other presentations in between. So rules while I present, um, no interruptions. Questions at the end of the presentation. Interactions are purely allowed. Raise your hand to interact. Feedback and suggestions at the end. Now sit back and relax while I present. Do not copy any of this content. So Kepler 5b. I find this a bit hilarious because 5b is the class which I'm in. So okay. What kind of an exoplanet is Kepler 5b? Kepler 5b is one of the first five planets discovered by NASA's Kepler spacecraft. 
It is a hot Jupiter that orbits a subgiant star that is more massive, larger, and more diffuse than the Sun is. Kepler 5 was first flagged as the location of a possibly transiting planet and was reclassified as a Kepler object of interest designation. Until follow up observations confirmed the planet's existence and many of its characteristics. The planet's discovery was announced at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society on January 4, 2010. The planet has approximately twice the mass of Jupiter. Okay, sorry. I'm gone. Okay. Twice the mass of Jupiter and is about 1.5 times larger. It is also 10 times hotter than Jupiter. Keep that in mind. Kepler 5b orbits Kepler 5. It's the host star. Every 3.5 days at a distance of approximately 0 0.051 astronomical units. So basically, Kepler 5b is a um, super Jupiter and it is twice the mass, 1.5 times larger in size and 15 times hotter, which if you take into consideration is around 18,070 Kelvin. I mean, 1870 Kelvin. So the Kepler spacecraft's first days of science activity revealed a series of transit events, which is why, which is the method used to discover it in which some body, such as a planet, crosses in front of and therefore dims its host star. Such objects were taken from the Kepler input catalog and declassified as Kepler objects of interest, which is also known as KOI. Kepler 5 was one of these objects of interest and was given the designation KOI 18. So after the stellar parameters were established, the Kepler science team ran models and fits to ensure that Kepler 5's transit event was not a false positive, such as an eclipsing binary star, which means a star orbiting a star, or which looks like an orbiting star. And they ensured that Kepler 5's transit event was not a false one, and there is actually an exoplanet. Once the planetary nature of Kepler 5b was established, the Kepler team searched for the planet's occultation behind its star, hoping to find the temperature on its day side. They found both and were able to set the equilibrium temperature of the planet. The use of speckled imaging using, using adaptive optics at the WIN Observatory in Arizona and the Paloma Uni Observatory in California isolated the starlight of Kepler 5 from background stars. Use of the fiber fed Ekel spectrograph, which is FISE, at the Nordic Optical Telescope on the Canary Islands on June 4, 2009, provided data that was used to determine the star's stellar classification. The WMK Observatory's high resolution Ekel spectrometer, which is also known as HIRS, was used on June 3rd to 6th, 2009, and July 2nd to 4th, 2009, determined radial velocity measurements for the star, which helped to further define, define stellar parameters. Now, just so, you go, just so you don't get confused, transit was used to discover the planet, and radial velocity was used to further discover the planet's characteristics. So mainly transit method was used to discover. Kepler 5 is a subgiant in the Cygnus constellation that is expected to soon deplete its hydrogen stores in the core and begin fusing hydrogen in the shell region surrounding the core. So the Kepler 5 is expected to deplete its hydrogen storage soon in the core and it will start to fuse hydrogen again. So the star is 1.34 C374 times the mass of the sun. Another model suggests that Kepler, Kepler 5 has a mass of 1.21 times that of the sun, although it is more diffuse at 1.793 times the sun's radius. The star's metallicity is measured to be at H equals to 0 0.04, which means that H 
Kepler 5 has 1.0 times the levels of iron as the sun does. The star's apparent magnitude is 13.4, meaning it cannot be seen with the unaided eye. So we must use a my telescope or a camera through um, the satellite to view the star. Kepler 5b is a hot Jupiter, as I said, with a mass of 2.114 times that of Jupiter and a radius of 1.431 times Jupiter's radius. This also means that Kepler 5b is not very dense. The planet's measured density is 0 0.894 grams per centimeter cube less than that of pure water and comparable only to the density of Saturn, which is approximately 0 0.69 grams per centimeter cube. The planet has an equilibrium temperature of 1868 Kelvin, as I said, around 18, 1870, not 18,000, 1800, I'm sorry, making it 15 times hotter than Jupiter. So the very common question in my this series can dash be colonized on this 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 presentation is kepler 5b so can kepler 5b be colonized since kepler 5b is a hot jupiter with a mass that is as i said more than that of jupiter and a huge radius it cannot be colonized as it is too hot as it is 15 times more hot and not dense enough so it's time for a quiz and thank you. Any doubts, please do share your feedback and suggestions. Nice presentation, Aman. Awesome. So grade five AKR school BTA. 5B student questions about Kepler 5B. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Kepler 5B is can be colonized. What do you guys say? No, it can't. It's too hot. <laughs> it's not dense enough. <laughs> sir, it's in not. future, anything can be possible, sir. If we future, make it dense enough. Can be dense. Sir, and future, but now, Jagu, possible. we can use warp drive and reach exoplanets. Okay, warp drive. Yeah, yes, sir, no, warp drive. And, sir, many candidates are there for sir. Insane. I guess so. We made if we are able to succeed in harvesting that, uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, uh, Antimatter, sir, we can easily do this and all. Hey, but uh, but uh, others we can only reach only in my warp drive, okay? Because in mass to earth, journey no, itself, pet. it's 75 seconds it's taking. You need yeah, not yeah, yeah. but for warp drive also we don't know if it work is the techniques working or not. Ah, uh, guys, uh, it's working. Uh, the the prototype uh, is hey, ready. can I speak? Uh? Hey, hey, yeah, the, remember the, uh, our before group presentation in uh, in the interview session I told that we will use warp drive. I already, I only, I only researched and told we don't want this argument. I think so. And I am not argumenting and I said hey, I am But better I have uh, why I am telling warp drivers we can do 75 seconds in math but those we can yeah, easily like, uh, use. I think it will be faster than like Yeah, it. Da, I yeah. am not telling we can't use but take time for making that. Yeah. Did I say we can't and use it. Da. So the audience will be wondering what this, what these children are talking. The normal way the of power of argument. <laughs> They talk about warp drives, black holes, asteroids, colonizing Mars, traveling. Behind the planets. scenes, you never know what you're yeah, writing. Anyone doesn't want to watch, sir, because they'll be thinking that they are kids, sir. Because so they want to watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only a no, relative will, will watch, sir. They, they will watch. Once the school starts, you will see the response. Okay. Uh, wait. Okay. So where are we? Ah, quiz time. Quiz time. So near, near but We can still... Yeah. You can still discuss. I don't even mind. Oh, okay. But Naman, but you can also concentrate because you are also you are also expert on this on this exoplanet colonization. That's why only yes. I am telling we can discuss together. Yeah, but um, 
You guys started the margin call. We we would we and tomorrow we would be discuss on Friday and and the Tuesday we will be discussing about this thing, Jagu, about this warp drive only. So I got a topic on it, sir, for presenting, sir. They do not tell it that. Do not tell the topic, please, please, please. It's secret. I think we should like, gather up a team for uh, major planet colonization. We already I... had a department, da. Not full team. We have a department. But we have, yeah, we have margin colonization, right? We have, we have two we departments. We have a hundred uh, departments. I no, yeah, they but hundred departments. I already didn't tell you. You forgotten, I think. So I told you, only make ten departments. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but already so many are there. So what are the two departments? Only two Martian departments. One is in mass colonization, and another is exoplanet explorers. One is mass explorers. Okay. Okay. Da. One Add is in for exoplanet explorers. But the only but before, if I need to add you, means that you need to be a part of target space. Then only I can add you. Okay, now this time join quiz now. Okay. Now man, share the screen. Sir, take lot of time for loading, okay. sir. That's a problem with near pod. Near pod. Yes, first it takes time, but once oh. it loads, it's nice. you no, if you, if you, if you, you load if for you, me instantly. No, if 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 your your signal be fast, it's more than hundred. And the other one, yeah, if, hey, if internet is very high, we can join fast. It is very yeah. fast. We can we can join. Yeah, back. yeah, that's only. Yeah, today some uh, some uh, many people have a less, uh, internet is very low. Uh. Yeah, some yeah some people might have hurried, but but some people but 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 it might take five minutes for only some people. Okay. Twenty minutes take me five minutes. It takes me like twenty thirty seconds. Yeah. Why well, me take uh, five minutes? So that only. Can you share minutes. the link? I'm not getting. Uh, yeah. Share, right. I share once again. Check. Jago share in YouTube. Anita. Yeah. Share YouTube live. Done. 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 Jaco, I share it in our Isha group. Yeah, yeah, please do. Yeah, yeah. We need as many people. Okay, Naman. Okay, it will be more of a competition with the more people. Yeah. So far, six people. I'll see it. if I can join target space, I'll do it. Okay, Naman. We are we are we are welcoming you to join, but uh, but you can tell us whenever you can contact me and tell. Okay, when you want to join. Okay, da. Send me your number. It's possible, oh, it might happen because sometimes we have already we have been already planned up at that time. After few days only, we might take. So that also matters. Okay. It's okay, Daddy. It's how, however. Are you saying, Naman? Are you saying I will think and join, join? Ah, yeah, yeah. He would tell the, but but if possible, we can take him. Okay, if if not, but I, 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 I'm okay to take an team. Okay, I am also okay. But uh, if we decide a topic, okay, we can give him another one sub topic. Let's discuss it personally. Okay? Vignesh, Vignesh, let yeah, he, yeah. Pasti, pasti he should join. But, yeah. Okay. That is a think and say now. Let's focus on quiz now. Ignition, me your number will talk privately about this. I will personally message you. Okay. More people. The more the merrier. I'll wait another uh, half a minute. If no one joins, I'll start.
Okay. Naman sure. Jagu sir is in there, okay? Because yeah. now I am the host. Okay, noted, noted. Kepler object of interest designation of Kepler 5. Maman, for me the screen, the quiz screen is uh, like, um, it's stuck. First question What is the Kepler object, object of interest, interest designation, designation of Kepler 5? Okay, next question is Kepler 5 orbits, Kepler 5, Kepler 5 be orbits, Kepler 5 every three and a half days. At a distance of approximately 0 0.051 astronomical units. Yeah, something my screen is stuck in it so that I knew the this itself. Hey, what happened? Hey, yeah, something I faced some issues so that uh, I came out of the quizzes. And it has approximately thrice the mass of Jupiter and is about three times larger. It is also 50 times harder than Jupiter. True or false question? It, it writes false. Which what method was used to discover Kepler 5b? Kepler five. five subjoint in the dash constellation. Draco Cygnus Crux. Crux Sanskritum. The star is dash times the mass of the sun. One point two seven four. One point four seven five. Some 1.374 1.375. 1. Wow, there's a twist. All the numbers are closely related. It looks like that's the point of tricky question. The group <laughs> the planet has an equilibrium temperature of 18,668 Kelvin. False, false. Good. Vignesh is first followed by Dash, Mukil, Ishwarya, Sadiqi, Anish, and Harjit. Vignesh, Dash, and Mukil. So, someone can share the audience part of you. Mukil, you want to share so the audience? Sir, everything is a bear you? only, sir. Bear, Dash. one bear. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jagu, me sure. and Dash sure, will sure, always. Sure, sure, sure. Discuss personal things about this exoplanet. Okay, sometimes I will call her. He share will tell that screen. sometimes share we screen. have. Share, share your screen. What, Jagu? Okay. Share the screen. Share the screen. Share the screen. Yes. We have to do that. Jagu, Jagu, me and Dej okay. will always personally discuss about these exoplanets, okay? And we would will gain knowledge much. Yes, no, there's some days we have been talking about this exoplanets. Hi, those are in the line. Hello. <laughs> Hello. He's in the line. Hello. After the Hello? after the like now live is done now. After the live, we will talk discuss with them. Okay. Okay. So thank Dush. you so much, Naman, for the beautiful presentation followed by a uh, beautiful, uh, uh, nice uh, quiz in your part. And I like the three beers winning the trophies. It looks cute. <laughs> thank you so much. So let's give a huge round of applause for Naman. On the count of three. On the count of three. Hi.
Bye. Thank you so much. So, audience, see you next week with new set of topics, new set of uh, research. Uh, uh, scientists yeah, been isn't, some, one more yes. isn't Kashika supposed to present also? Kashika is not there. It's her uh, laptop uh, faced some technical issues. Hello, Dush, can you please unmute yourself? Yes. <laughs> wait, 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 New set of uh, presenters, presentations, a lot of more research. It's a lot of love for the space. I have not discussed Yeah, yes. Thank you. Bye bye. See you all next week. We will have 500 chapters and we will not stop. Yes. We will uh, do. Yeah.